Here at Eurobike, BMC wanted to do something a little bit different to really showcase the R&D capacity of the brand. So I'm here with Jorni and Stefan, who are going to tell us a bit about the BMC Impact concept bike. What is the idea behind the concept bike, just from a high level? The idea is that uh, we can explore the future of performance cycling. You know, it's, it's about the bike, but actually it's much more about our capability of doing prototypes in-house in a very short time, no matter what it is, and explore different design solutions, not just on the screen, but actually building the thing, realizing it, testing it, and in the end, we are, I would say, really progressive, and we can innovate by doing it, not just talking about and sending it to any supplier, we do the things. Now, some of these designs look visually very striking. Is the idea is to, at one point, build these into an actual bike someone will ride, or is this just something that's pretty to look at? Well, some of the features might, might show up on, on production bikes in, in, in near future, or distant futures even, but um, the main thing here is really to explore the future. We don't say this is the future, but we want to you know, explore new design language, um, new engineering solutions, and we want to show the capability of our people. You know, we have equipment and uh, expertise and people in our own facility uh, that enables us to, um, to build pretty much anything. You can dream it up, you know, you can, you can put it down on paper and those guys can build it. On the bike you see here, actually everything was made in-house. I mean, really, from sketch to painting to finish, it's, we have all those uh, capabilities of doing it. The striking thing is that it was all done within four months. So for, for, for beginning with the idea. Yes. Really on the paper, through the CAD, through the mold making, through the product making, through the finish, all those in, in four months. And I think this is also for our internal people, you know, it's a huge motivation to see actually that if we have great ideas, we don't have to relay on an external supplier to check whether a solution could work or it could be a concept that is feasible. No, actually, we can do it within one week. For instance, uh, this special saddle that we have uh, on this bike with the twin stay concept was actually going from CAD to a rideable prototype within something like 10 days. And we don't limit our imagination uh, by production restrictions that you have if you work with external uh, suppliers. Walk us through a few of these, yeah. these parts here. Start with the, the twin stem concept. Okay. Um, you know, we, we wanted to sort of dream up a bike that we would want to ride in, in, in five years. And aerodynamics is a big part of that. Not only for aerodynamics sake, but also because we like it. You know, it, it looks fast. Everybody likes aero. Um, the problem with an aerodynamic stem, uh, single stem, is that it's very narrow. You know, if you want to go aero, it's narrow, then it's not very stable. Mm -hmm. So for cornering stability, we made two really thin ones, spaced them far apart. And I think a great um, benefit of this, or, you know, side effect, is that it looks really cool too. How about the seat post? Seat post, a twin seat post, you will see that um, there's no clamp. This only works together with that saddle. Um, it's designed together and you, you know you need a, a special frame for this and since we can make all the parts not only the frame uh, we can explore these opportunities right now the, the Shimano drivetrain I'm not quite familiar with this drivetrain we don't know what it is so the frame is modular okay this is a big part of this concept the the basic frame is is quite uh, well it's quite basic there's nothing integrated into the frame like you normally would do you know uh, it's all these add-ons that sort of tidy up the um, um, appearance. And uh, that can mean you have uh, tools integrated, a pump integrated, you can have hydration integrated. Why should a water bottle look like a water bottle, a standard water bottle on an aerodynamic bike? You know, they've been looking like that forever. We don't know what drivetrains are gonna be like in five years from now. We do know that there are drivetrains um, for mountain bikes. Like a gearbox drivetrain. Gearbox drivetrain, like correct. So we want to keep those options open, you know, and maybe maybe the maybe the rider gets to to choose. Another new feature, um, air intakes. It's uh, something that we have for those two other um, features. We have filed patents. Also for the air intakes, you have the overheating problem with uh, disc brakes on long descents. We have a lot of long descents in Switzerland. 
the way we address that is to have the cooling ducts leading cool air to the calipers and to the rotors. And uh, the calipers are then integrated for air to improve aerodynamics, right? All in all, a beautiful bike. We'll look forward to seeing what the next concept is. If this only took four months. That leaves you another uh, eight months of the year. Thanks, guys. You've been watching Bike Radar. We're adding new videos all the time, so don't forget to click subscribe and let us know what you'd like to see more of in the comments below.